You want to build up your technique. You don't want to learn without working on your technical ability because um, the mistakes you, you, you make in the beginning and if you learn the wrong way, you, you, you have to pay for it later. So I know from my own experience, there's cer certain things that I had to fix over the years because I've learned, I've learned it the wrong way. So before you start learning the piece, I think it's maybe important to talk about um, several things. Uh, it, it would be good to have a certain technical proficiency before you actually start learning the piece. Um, there's there's a bit of a challenge. I know when there's a piece that is so, so much fun to play, uh, there's a little bit of a danger and temptation to just pick up the guitar and play it in tempo. So uh, I myself am guilty of that as well. So, but uh, over the years, I've learned that it's it's really really important to pay attention to details, to learn it very very slow, in sections. Look at the technical problems, identify them, and uh, find a way to to resolve them. So this is how you learn about your technique, about your hands, about your ability. Um, so everybody's very individual, so I can, you know, give advice, but I think we ourselves have to find ways to, to make our technique efficient enough um, to play this piece or any, any, you know, other piece. Scales are very, very important. Uh, before you start practicing or playing a certain piece, you should always be practicing scales. So uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever works for you, however much time you have, this is just for the sake of your hands to warm up, to make sure um, that your hands are ready to play. Try not to play with cold hands. That's very dangerous and can cause some, some issues with your hands, so you have to be really, really warmed up. And uh, pay attention to how your hands are positioned. So the left hand always has to be with a straight wrist. Uh, make sure you press with the tip of your fingers. Don't do this or that. So always curved fingers and with the tip of your finger. Uh, if you need to push the elbow out, you can do that, but try not to do this or that, so don't move your hand too much to the left or too much to the right, always always straight like this. So for example, you know, scale, just pay attention. This is just a simple C major scale. But again, this is how we learn about technique. Also pay attention to the right hand as well. Um, the same with the right hand. This should be straight, not too much to the right or too much to the left, so just keep it like this. And you can move up and down the sixth to the first string, up and down like this. You want to build up your technique. You don't want to learn without working on your technical ability because um, the mistakes you, you, you make in the beginning and if you learn the wrong way, you, you, you have to pay for it later. So I know from my own experience, there's cer certain things that I had to fix over the years because I've learned, I've learned it the wrong way. So it's very difficult to, to fix bad habits. So um, it's always good to do it in the beginning and learn the proper way. I think this piece should be practiced with the metronome. It's very important. Before you start practicing it and playing it, uh, please establish the tempo that you want to play it. Um, when you are practicing it, you should practice very, very, very slowly. So very, very slowly. Uh, don't play it in tempo, uh, practice it very slow. So it could be um, anything you feel comfortable. I would suggest perhaps something like this, even slower than that. Very, very slow because um, the tempo that you establish in the beginning, will kind of have to be there for the entire A section. A section. So don't, uh, don't change it when the you know, difficult part comes up. Make sure that it's always the same tempo. So that's why the metronome is very important. When you're in the practicing part of 
learning this piece, you shouldn't change the colors. Just play it straight through in, in one, one color. Dynamics come later that, you know, we can talk about it later, but in the beginning stages, you should play it just straight through. It's important to um, practice this piece by sections. So we're gonna talk about the measure numbers and I'm gonna kind of lead you through it. But um, again, don't play the A section through. Just, just, just play in, in, in sections. Um, so that's very important as well. And um, if you choose um, a transcription that already has the fingerings in it, you can of course use those fingerings, but if something is giving you trouble or you, f you find that a certain fingering is not working for you, you can always change it and kind of adjust it to your own ability. So it's, the fingerings are just there to kind of guide you, but you don't have to follow it exactly the way it is. Um, you can change it. This is, again, where the you know, technical ability comes in and that's how we learn what works for us and what doesn't work. Uh, so again, you don't have to follow exactly what's in the, in the description. You know, the, the progress might not happen immediately. It will happen maybe in a month or two or three or four, but don't get discouraged, just keep going. And uh, like I said, what I said in the beginning about slow practicing, that always pays off later. Don't get frustrated if something doesn't work today. It will work tomorrow or in a week or two or three. So it takes time. Turn the metronome on, um, choose the tempo that you, again, very, very slow. And uh, don't change the tempo according to 